Oh, camera on, I believe. Yes. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay. Ugh, try to make a video here. Um, just things rolling, you know, stuff's always rolling through the consciousness. Um, you know, you gain a new perspective every day. <laughs> some kind of, I mean, some of it is just same old, you know, where you just get into a, a, a pattern of thinking. And, you know, it just, yeah, the same pattern arises, or, you know, you have little this and that's to change the nuance of the day. But it's this pattern you live in, this uh, the story, you know, and you're, you know, whether you're doing Red Riding Hood or you're doing Goldilocks or uh, Hansel and Gretel or whatever your narrative is, you kind of get back into the forest or back into the costume and you just play your role. And uh, Modern Mystic just made a video kind of talking about gray text and, and that kind of um, manner, um, that kind of style, and, uh, yeah, so, so, I mean, it's just something on my mind in terms of just watching myself and my own patterns, and even the patterns of arguments, you know, it is year after year, um, these themes that are persistently re-arising, and, uh, you know, the, the whack the monkey or the mole or whatever the hell it is, uh, you know, you just feel like it just, you know, you can't ever stomp it out. It's like some kind of fire that, you know, you step on it over here and it creates a little breeze and it starts the fire over here again. You stomp on that and, you know, same thing. And it's like you just never get ahead of it. Uh, you know, it's just struggle, 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 struggle. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, that's probably enough said right there. It's, uh, oh, why, do I, why am I bothering? Uh, there seems to be some mission statement that compels me. Some kind of something uh, inside. So anyway, I'll deal with Antikantavad's theme song, which is... Uh, science is a religion. That's basically his argument. Um, he's, he doesn't see a substantial difference between the credibility of the conclusions people drew about reality, you know, 2,000 years ago, the information they had to draw those conclusions two or three or 4,000 years ago, and the information we have to draw conclusions about reality. He thinks it's all uh, just some sort of, you know, uh, you know, that it's all ignorant projection and there is no such thing as intelligent um, interjection. Uh, and it's just, um, you know, this theme does rise. I mean, there's people who are not, uh, you know, they're atheists, but they're, they're absolutely nothing else as a replacement. So they're anti-theism and pro-nothing. So it's this, you know, undefined philosophy is somehow supposed to be superior to a wrong philosophy. And to me, it's the, it's the ultimate wrong philosophy. No conclusion is a guaranteed wrong answer, in my opinion. There's no way no opinion can be right. It's just, I it can't. It can't be correct to believe nothing, to believe in nothing, to understand nothing. Um, so, I mean, atheism, uh, that's that myopic, uh, that, um, like only half of the word, only half of the sentence, only half of the definition uh, isn't worth anything. There's no point in being anti if you're not pro something. Uh, it just isn't. It just isn't going to work that way. Uh, in most cases, anyway. Uh, the 
the void is not a suitable replacement for even the crime because void is as much of a crime in terms of its lack of continuity to any likely reality. The reality needs to be recognized. Uh, you know, saying that isn't real over there, okay, isn't gonna do you any good if you hasn't recognized what is real right ahead of you. So, it just isn't. I mean, you have to invest to play the game. You can't just say, I won't buy that bad stock, and then you don't buy any good stock. <laughs> That's not going to get you anywhere. I mean, it'll get you out of being the, the as, as obvious a loser, um, but it's not going to, your money's not going to do anything. You're not going to be able to keep it, let's say. By the rules of the game, you have to invest in something. Uh, it's just going to be the nature of how the game is played. Uh, you don't get to sit on the sidelines and pretend the truth will find you. Or that somehow, uh, by magic, you'll perform... Uh, uh, you know, the, the, the talent without practice. Uh, there is a skill level to being productive and useful and functional, and you need to understand the game to play the game well. And to say there is no game, which is Antikantavad's game, uh, basically, uh, you know, to say there is no need to acquire uh, skill, uh, to invest in nothing, uh, it's just nonsense. And the truth is, that's not really what he's living. He's selling that, but he's not living that. And uh, so I'll, I'll make a, an accusation of kind of dis uh, dishonesty, because I think he truly does, I think he is, a neo-Darwinist. I think he does see purpose in fighting for the sake of fighting, in replication for the sake of replication, in dominance for the sake of dominance, in brutality for the sake of brutality. He is a he is owned uh, by a notion of some sort of uh, positive to be gleaned out of conflict and uh, that there's somehow it's a progressive battle that if all we get out of it is a third ear <laughs> you know or an eye where our belly button is or some other bullshit advance like aren't we cool uh, we've gained an, an extra inch or an extra pound you know a third foot uh, that somehow, no matter what it costs, it's worth it. Because aren't we interesting? Because we have three feet. Uh, you know, and we're not doing any of that anyway. There's no real prospect that that's where the human race is heading. It's to any uh, positive mutation. <laughs> you know, if there's going to be mutations, they're not going to be pretty. They're going to be uh, insectoid style functionality, not uh, beautiful or graceful or elegant or any of that crap. And again, even if they were, uh, so what? Uh, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't add up to anything. Uh, it's still just a, a grist mill. Still just grinding it all up and packaging it, you know, as a blanket, <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, you know, grind up all the miseries and make it into a blanket to comfort the miserable. Uh, it's, uh, it's really just all quite insidious and most especially in the hands of people who invest themselves 
in uh, notions of momentum alone. Uh, the ball is rolling, keep it rolling. Let's all be good little syphicus girls and boys. Just push our boulders and uh, be myopic and uh, insult our intelligence as thoroughly as possible. I mean, really, no point in being smart enough to avoid the dodge of three-card Monty if you're going to fall for <laughs> any other pyramid scheme that comes down the line. Uh, you know, if you're going to be an even bigger sucker when the next crook comes along and buy the Brooklyn Bridge or something, you know, yes, you may, you know, you, just isn't any point in it. No point in being uh, clever by a half or by two thirds or by anything short of doing it right. So there, there really is only two choices. Get it right or fuck up. And uh, not trying to even guess at the truth is just a guarantee that you're not gonna find it. <laughs> you're not gonna you're not gonna be playing the game required to suit the truth to perfect your performance. Again, if the if the game is archery and uh, you're playing bouncy ball, yeah you're not gonna be you're not gonna be doing what needs to get done to play the game good. Uh, it's all going to be just a bunch of fail, 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 fail. Uh, you think you're winning. I bounce the ball. Well, bouncing the ball ain't the game. It's not the measure. And I can, I feel quite confident that the game we're playing isn't nihilism. That is not the game. The game isn't uh, you know, <laughs> uh, the DNA says so, or the DNA knows so. That's not the game. Uh, the game requires a little more elegance than that. Uh, you know, use this brain to take a look at things and realize uh, where the values lie. And, uh, know how you score the goal uh, which is live a life uh, that produces through function <laughs> yeah uh, you know value yeah I mean not only just minimal efficiency but maximum productivity I mean that's if it gets the game and you ain't gonna do it from the bench. You ain't gonna do it, uh, you know, nitpicking and naysaying and all that kind of crap. That ain't playing a good game. That ain't playing any game at all. Oh, excuse me. Uh, after kind of cold and, uh, Kind of breezy. Yeah. There's my complaint. I'll throw that in, of course. <laughs> yeah. 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 So anyway, all right. It's water. I shouldn't have my hand in my pocket in case I have to use my balancing skills. So will it be? Uh, well, I think I was going to have more of a conclusion. <sighs> yeah, my finger's cold. Should have worn my gloves. Uh, anyway. <sighs> Brittle. Um, yeah, so again, I just, I think it's a reasonable person can understand that uh, the odds of none of it mattering really are. I mean, I think it's really quite silly uh, to look at the world with all this stuff in it 
and to say there's no distinction between turning left and turning right, that there's no better game to play. Uh, gee, I think that is just silly. Uh, I think it's quite obviously a game of complex nuance, and you have to commit to who you're going to play for. Are you on Logic's team? Are you on God's team? Are you on Babel's team? Are you on Liar's team? Bullshitter's team? Fuckhead's team? Fucktard's team? Who are you playing for? What are you playing for? You're playing to win? Or you're playing to be an asshole? Better close the gate on the pool. And avoid any legal consequence. fix that in the spring. Anyway, so now I think I'm done. And such. Two fourth and what Clean the feet. See you later.